Hello Floss Tube, I'm back. <laughs> my name is Beth and I am the Steadfast Stitcher and this is my Floss Tube channel where we talk mostly about cross stitch. I took about a month off to move and it's been an experience <laughs> but um, I'm really happy in the new place. It's a one-story little ranch and I'm even gonna have a little craft room at some point if I ever get unpacked. <laughs> I'm totally surrounded by boxes at the moment, but that is okay. I've got my little stitching spot. I've got my workstation set up. Bed, kitchen is somewhat, somewhat set up. <laughs> so I'm good to go for now. But I want to thank you if you are rejoining me and have subscribed to my channel previously. I know I did see a drop in subscribers since I took a month off totally understandable there are so many great floss tubes out there to watch so i get it and if you're brand new i do hope you'll consider hitting like and subscribe below so since i last saw you it was towards the end of stitch mania and i did a sampler stitch mania and it was a lot of fun not only did I get to reconnect with some old whips that I had not touched in quite some time um, and fall in love with them all over again, but I had several new starts, including one that was at the very end of May, which I will show you shortly. So I do have some whips to show you today and my new start, um, which also has a little bit of haul with it. <laughs> because um, the project that bag, I bought a project bag, hello, <laughs> to go with the new sampler that I started. So let's get started and show you what I've been working on. I have got so many floss tubes to catch up on, let me tell you, oh my goodness. So many to catch up on. I want to catch up with Laura and Handwork Maniac and um, Enchanting Stitches. And oh, there's so many of them. <laughs> and they're so much fun to watch and totally enabling. So this one you saw me, I started it. If you've been on my channel, I started this one with Laura Stitching by the Shore and uh, Stitching in the High Heels. Let's see, it's getting a good bit of glare. But this is Arabesque by Jan Hicks Creates. Beautiful, beautiful pattern. I'm going to take it out of the bag. There we go. Yeah, it's still getting a little bit of glare. But it's an Art Deco sampler, and it is gorgeous. And this called for either DMC 498, it's monochromatic, or um, Vicki Clayton Silks hand-dyed fibers um, in OMG 1145. Now, I did use the Vicki Clayton Silks, but I chose a different color. I went with Nile Blue, which is absolutely gorgeous. And so, yes, if I look a little tired, I am. <laughs> but totally worth it to move into the new place. And I love it. I'm even going to have a little craft room. Little being the key word, but it is going to be a craft room. And I'm so excited about that. So this is the Nile Blue from Vicki Clayton. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that color. So, so pretty. And... You've seen this once before, but I put in about another, I think it was close to 400 stitches, not quite 400. But yeah, so I'm using a plain white 25 count Lugana over one. So one thread over one, one thread over one. <laughs> Boy, I feel like I'm so out of practice. But isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love the color. And Laura and I had both mentioned before, this is 
this border is very meditative. It's very relaxing to stitch and I'm enjoying this so much. This will be out again soon. Um, but again, with moving and semi-packing and oh my goodness, let me tell you, if you're in, <laughs> I have to slip this in, but if you're in North Carolina and considering a move, message me and I will tell you who not to go with for moving <laughs> because it was a nightmare. Um, I won't go to bore you with all the details, but it was not fun. Okay, so the next thing that I worked on is from Teresa Kogut, and this is one of, I absolutely love this book. This is a new location for me, so kind of experimenting with the lighting, <laughs> but I will get it figured out, I promise. I'll just ask for a little patience right now. So this is Teresa Kogut's book, Love Lives Here. And it's got some beautiful patterns in here. <clears throat> in fact, there isn't a one in this book that I don't want to do. But the particular one that I worked on is this small sampler by Teresa Kogut. And I love the little cat on here and the moth and the little bird with a hat on it. It's just adorable. And I am also doing this on 25 count over one. And I am using, um, I believe it's called Vintage Stormy Storm Clouds Lugana. And so I worked on finishing the house. I still have one edge out here to do. So, but I did the door and filled in all of the, um, the windows on the first story and finished off the gold and then the little red heart here and started on the moth. But it is a gorgeous stitch. And yeah, I love this one. And it's going to be teeny tiny on 25 count. It's going to be so pretty. I can't wait to finish it. I started this with Cat Stitch, who's also a floss tuber. And she finished this a long time ago. So <laughs> I'm way behind, but it is a really enjoyable stitch. And I have so many whips to choose from. It's crazy. Him. You know, I feel out of practice right now, but I'm so glad to be back with you all again. I've missed you. <laughs> I've missed doing floss tubes. Now this one I worked on, I only got in a little over 200 stitches on it, but I did make a little progress. So that's a good thing. I'm going to see if I've got a picture in here. And I don't. So I'm going to put a picture right here. This is Thurza Priscilla Dawes by Hemlock and Rye Stitchery. That's Kit Julie, Kansas City girl in a Colorado world. I love her channel and I need to catch up with her too. Um, and this is the goth colorway. So it's Thurza Goes Goth. And I will link her shop below as well. So Thursa, I'm doing on 36 count from Picture This Plus. And I worked on, let's see, I got this turned up at a wrong angle here. See, out of practice. <laughs> so I worked more on the berry bowl here and the flowers underneath here. And I also extended the border as well. And this is a terrific stitch. And I do want to spend more time on it. 
but I did pull this out the very end of May um, to include it in my sampler stitch mania. So I was glad to get some stitches in on it. And I love all the colors in this. I think it's fantastic. It's fun to do. It's a lot of color changes, but it is a very fun stitch. So it's totally worth it. Now, let's see. I also worked on two Owl Forest embroidery charts. I kind of got in the mood, I think, with the stress of moving and, you know, everything that goes with it from the packing to, um, I needed a little work done on this place first before I moved in to get, you know, all that fun stuff. <laughs> so, I think I went for my stitches that felt the most relaxing at the time to work on. And a couple of those were my Owl Forest embroidery stitches that I have. And I just really enjoy both of these. One's fairly new, one I've been working on since last October, off and on. Now this one is Pumpkin Colored Autumn from, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, hold on one moment. I may have to work on finding a new location to, or a different time of day to shoot my video because that afternoon sun is definitely hitting. <laughs> and it's late afternoon too. It's only, it's like 6.30 I think or 7. But anyways, the sun seems to be coming right in the window. So, oh, and Chloe's here. Come on. <laughs> Come say hi. No? Maybe. There she is. Your fan club is out there. <laughs> yeah. So I worked on, hello, <laughs> Pumpkin Colored Autumn by Owl Forest Embroidery. And to me, this is a very relaxing piece to stitch on. Now this pattern, Pumpkin Colored Autumn, is free on the Owl Forest Embroidery website. In fact, they have a number of beautiful free patterns that you can pick up after they're on their website. And I really like this one. See that they've got the fox and the different kinds of squirrels and the owl and the big pumpkin house right in the middle there and even a little kitty cat. I started this dot, Chloe. <laughs> She's showing her butt, so I'm just gonna keep this up here. <laughs> I started this in October. Um, for Laura Stitching by the Shores, um, October Pumpkin Birthday Sal is the name of the Sal. And I'm hoping to get this done by next October because I already have another pattern in mind um, from Just Cross Stitch Magazine several years ago that I want to start for Pumpkin Birthday Sal. And I'm going to be starting it along with Dawn. Um, who's enchanting stitching on floss tube. So, but for right now, I'm working on this one. <laughs> and Chloe wants attention, of course. Hi, baby girl. I've got kind of a wonky setup right now because I have not found my ring light yet. <laughs> so you were perched on top of a couple of boxes at the moment. <laughs> And my camera is perched on a couple boxes. You aren't. Chloe loves all the boxes, though. She's been, like, jumping on all of them, checking them out, climbing. Totally ignoring her, you know, expensive cat tree. And she just wants to climb boxes. So I am doing this on eight, I'm sorry, 20 count Winter Wonderland from Dying for Cross Stitch. You can see the tag there. And it is a nice, slightly modeled light gray that is just yummy to stitch on. And so this is where I'm at at the moment. I finished up the orange on the big pumpkin here. 
And I don't know if you can see the working on the windows and did a little more work on the vines. This is really fun to stitch on. I am using the Owl Forest threads for this. Um, and they are super variegated. So, it, you know, it gives the look I'm using a lot more colors than I actually am. <laughs> but I love the way this is turning out. And I do find this to be a very relaxing piece to stitch on. So, this one and there's a few other patterns that tend to be when I'm stressed I, are the ones I like to grab. So, I've been grabbing a lot of those this past few weeks. sorry now the other owl forest that I was working on I started this for year of the dragon sow um, with Hugo stitcher and well there's a lot of people stitching it Hugo stitcher is one of the hosts Hold on. I apologize I thought I had it written down but I just had Hugo stitcher written written down so there were a number of people that started um year of the dragon cell and it was anything with a dragon i picked this particular one which is star dragon this also has a companion piece that i've seen a number of people on floss tube and instagram working on called moon deer and so i do plan on doing that at some point but um, Star Dragon really caught my eye. I love the colors in this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And it is a big piece. It's going to be quite tall. I believe the um, length is 405. Uh, but it's not nearly as wide. So I am using uh, Be Stitch Me. 25 count Lugana and it is called sugar cream pie and again I am using the owl forest threads and I did the flower on here and across here and added another heart on the border and just the colors on this are wonderful this is such an, I'm sorry, I didn't iron. I haven't found my iron yet either. <laughs> One of these days I'll find everything. But yeah, look at the, I mean, oh. I think it's absolutely lovely and it's very relaxing as well, I think, to work on. Um, because there's, the, there's a good bit of variegation to the th Owl Forest threads. And it looks like I'm using more colors than I actually am. So I'm not having a color change every 30 seconds. Which oftentimes I don't mind. But like I said, when I'm in high stress mode, I like to keep it as simple as possible. <laughs> and the, yeah, this is just a joy. I am really enjoying working on this one. And I'm sure as things settle down and, you know, I get into more of a routine and I don't have any more boxes surrounding me, <laughs> things will calm down and, you know, I won't be in this kind of wigged out mode of, oh my God, I've got so much to do, <laughs> which I do, but, you know. We will get through this. Now, let's see. Now, the other one I worked on, too. Um, this one is not <laughs> Owl Forest. <laughs> this is Kathy Barrick. And I love this one. I have not had it out in a long time. And I did not realize that it had been so long. But this is Riley Harbor by Kathy Barrick. 
This is a terrific pattern. If you can see the whale down here and the ships, it's just beautiful. Yeah, I like this one a lot. And, you know, I'm a sucker for houses, and there are a lot of houses in this pattern. <laughs> so according to Pattern, pattern Keeper, because this works great in Pattern Keeper, Kathy Barrick patterns. Um, so far, anyone that I bought from her on her Etsy site has worked great in Pattern Keeper. And actually, I had this in the Q-Snap because I was working on this a little bit last night. Or the night before. So, let's see. Let me show it like that. <laughs> so, this is where I'm at with Riley Harbor. And with Riley Harbor, since you last saw it, which has been quite some time, um, I added Road, that gray striping. I added the little crab. He's totally adorable. And this blue is going to be waves to signify the ocean. So that it's like a grouping of waves. And you can see it's actually a more vibrant blue in person than it is on um, the printout. Not on my printer, so sorry about that. But yeah. So I am having a lot of fun with this one. So pretty and so much fun with all the houses. And I can't wait to get to the whale. I'm excited to get to the whale to stitch that. And the ships. It's going to be fun. I know, Chloe, I'm in your spot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mommy was trying to find a good place to, to film. Because she doesn't have a lot of places right now. <laughs> Riley Harbor is on 18 count and it is Be Stitch Me. And this is called Scroll. S C R O L L. And I love the variegation in this fabric too. Or modeling, I should say. Again, another really fun stitch. Now, this is simultaneously my new start since you last saw me, and haul. So, the pattern isn't haul, but the project bag is. So, this is my new project bag. This is my haul, and this is from um, Patchwork Crossing. Wow, I blanked for a second there. She's on Instagram. Um, she posts on Instagram when she's putting up new bags. And she's also on, uh, she sells her project bags on Etsy. And if she posts, go over to Etsy quick because they sell out fast. But oh my gosh, I love these butterflies. They look like they're all painted in watercolors. And just really pretty. And it's got the little a butterfly fob in here. And these are all double double layered. See, it's got the lavender fabric inside. Isn't that pretty? And these are great sturdy bags. And I just love her bags. So, anyway, so that was my haul for the week. <laughs> I think we're going to hold off on haul a little bit for a uh, future haul until I get these boxes taken care of because I don't want to add any more to um, my stack right now. All right. So my new start, um, I had mentioned it on my last video and that was a month ago, so sorry, but um, that I had spun and got this as my new start. This is Louise Chapuis 1844 by Jan Hicks Creates. And look at the colors on that. It is such a vibrant, beautiful piece. I love the border with the blue ribbons coming down and just so pretty. Let's 
again. Oh, and this also went into Pattern Keeper, which is nice. And her um, arabesque uh, that I showed earlier also went into Pattern Keeper quite easily. So, yeah, this is just gorgeous. I love it. Um, Louise Chapuis, I am doing on 36 count vintage country mocha with a DMC conversion. Now, I just got a little start on this, and this was like right before everything got really crazy with the move, so. I didn't get as much done on this as I would have liked, but I did get a start. One moment. All right, now that it's folded properly so you can actually see what I worked on, <laughs> this is what I have so far for Louise Chapuis. And yeah, the colors on this are just so, so pretty. I believe I'm, let me just double check. Yes, I'm doing one strand of DMC over two on 36 count vintage country mocha. And this is beautiful. Yeah, I definitely want to have this out again very soon. This and arabesque as well. Oh my gosh, such beautiful patterns. And I thought since it had such vibrant colors in it and pretty, this uh, bag was perfect for Louis Chapuis. I just think it's gorgeous. So, my plans are uh, sweet wee. <laughs> Stitch what you want when you want. And just, you know, if I can't make up my mind, I will spin the wheel. Um, I've got like a top 30 on there of whips, so I'll spin the wheel and figure out what I want to work on. Um, and lots of more unpacking to do. <laughs> so those are generally my plans. Um, and playing with the cats, because they were quite stressed from the move, but they're actually moving around quite a bit more. I think moving to places one story with no stairs um, has been a bit helpful to the girls as well because they're both senior citizens too. So, yeah, I think it's a good move all the way around. And despite the, the nightmare moving company and everything else that went crazy over the last few weeks, it was definitely a good decision for me to move to this new location, and I'm really happy. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Um, again, if you're brand new, I do hope you'll hit like and subscribe. I normally film every two weeks. <laughs> I just had a little time off to, take, to move. Um, but I will see you in two weeks. Have a great stitchy couple of weeks. Enjoy yourselves. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>